Welcome to the Joint School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering's Gateway to Science event. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a scientist? While some people think this is either boring or too hard, most scientists will tell you that that is just a myth. Here at UNCG and NCANT, we are doing cutting edge research every day. Hey Greensboro, my name is Marinella Sandros. I study chemistry and biomedical engineering. Currently I work at the Joint School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering as a professor in nanoscience. My research focuses on using tiny particles to improve the detection of cancer, brain injury, and heart disease. My name is Adam Hall. I studied physics and the science of materials, and nowadays I study biology as a professor at the Joint School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering at UNCG. My research involves using very powerful microscopes and tools to make small machines that can look at individual molecules of DNA and proteins one at a time. I'm Shanti Ayer. I did my uh, PhD in physics from Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. I'm working on optical and electrical devices and I'm trying to make transistors uh, for a flexible, that is, the, the, for a display which is going to be in another three or four years, you're going to see them as a bendable just like this. And the, the, the um, cell phone, you would like to have something like this on a bender on your wristwatch and where you have a computing facility, you can do a uh, cell phone, you can do all the functions on a simple, flexible uh, material. Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Lundgren, and I'm Associate Professor and Department Chair in the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. My area of research interest is traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury can occur from a car accident, from a sports injury, or oftentimes in the military from what's referred to as a blast injury. Many people with traumatic brain injury have difficulty with memory, attention, concentration, problem-solving skills for many years, if not continuously, after their injury. There's so much that we don't know about traumatic brain injury and I'm hoping to get more people involved in this. Would you like to be one of them? There are careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM for short, all over the world. Here are just a few examples. My name is Janir Datukan. I graduated with a degree in chemistry here in the Philippines and then I went on to pursue graduate studies right there in the U.S. at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. So right now I'm, a, um, I'm an instructor at the university here called the Philippine Normal University. It's actually a teacher's college, so what I do is I train future teachers. So let me show you what my lab is all about right here. So this is an example of what we have back here in the Philippines. So we don't have the best stuff out here, but we make do with what we have. And we try to do everything as resourcefully as we can. You kids have everything right there. You can, you can do everything you can and everything that you want without any problem. So I really encourage you kids, you know, be in science. Have fun with science. And who knows, like I said, you probably will be the one to change the world in the future. All right. My name is Julius Friedman. I am engineer in biology and I am also PhD in biotechnology field. I am working as product manager at Horrible Scientific. Our company is leader in optical instrumentation for molecular analysis. We are based in south of Paris, in France. My job consists in taking care of a product line. I am in charge of surface class resonance imaging instrumentation. For this, I have to take care of the sales of the product, 
to take care of the R&D of the product and also to take care of the strategy penetration in the market. My name is Elodie Limbova. I studied biophysics. I am now a technical sales engineer at Horiba Scientific in France. My work involves discussing with research scientists from different parts of the world, representing my company at scientific conferences and exhibitions, as it is the case today, and producing marketing material for promotion. My name is Lamar Mayer, and I studied material science. And now I work at the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And currently, I study small synthetic swimming devices uh, that swim around in water-like materials and may have applications for delivering drugs or moving around individual cells one at a time. My name is Beth Evans and in college I studied physics and in graduate school I studied exercise and sports science. Currently I'm a lecturer at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the Department of Exercise and Sports Science. My job involves looking at how aerobic exercise affects physiological functioning in cancer patients and survivors. Specifically, I look at how aerobic exercise affects the immune system as well as the hormonal systems in these individuals. My name is uh, Antoine Gauche. I studied uh, chemistry at the Lebanese University in Lebanon. I'm currently associate professor at the American University of Beirut. I'm also doing research in my laboratory. Um, I always uh, recruit students uh, from different uh, from different background, uh, especially students coming from biology, biochemistry, or chemistry. These students at the graduate and undergraduate level are involved in research in my laboratory, and uh, they will uh, develop their skills. Okay. Uh, to find uh, the best technique uh, uh, to depollute water from uh, contaminants and to make uh, water like drinking uh, water respecting all uh, uh, standards. My name is Mike Favo. I'm a research professor in the physics department at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Um, I study biophysics. Uh, one of the projects that I work on is understanding uh, the physics and mechanics of blood clots, and in particular, understanding the molecular mechanisms, how the molecule stretches and, and strain when blood clots are under stress and strain in the bloodstream. My name is Josh, and I study biochemistry and biophysics. I'm currently a staff scientist at Life Technologies in Carlsbad, California, just north of San Diego. My work involves protein engineering, so we take naturally occurring proteins and enzymes and we manipulate or engineer them at the molecular level so that they're better performers, that they're stronger, they're faster, or in turn we give them capabilities that nature had never intended them to have. My name is Katie Dern. I studied electron microscopy. My job allows me to work with a wide variety of researchers, helping them solve problems through advances in technology. I like to think that I help the researchers achieve Eureka moments more frequently. Hi Greensboro, my name is Dr. Lydia Malich and my background is in electrical engineering and I specialize in biomedical engineering. I currently work as a research scientist here at the National Research Council Canada in Montreal and my specialization is in the development of the next generation point-of-care medical devices that can be put on the bedside of the patient in order to detect uh, disease in its early stage and thus improve the patient's life. My work is very challenging but it's also very interesting and very rewarding and one of the perks of uh, being a research scientist is that you get to travel a lot so if you decide to pursue your graduate studies you can travel from one city to the next and um, I just love it and I hope that uh, you will consider this as your career path. Here in the Triad, we have organized a group called Girls in Science and Technology. Our group aims to increase the presence of women in science and technological careers. In order to prepare for a future career in science and technology, we offer information on various resources and opportunities for girls between the ages of 8 and 18. For more information, 
visit www.gisters.net.